Hello, my name is Beck, and welcome to my Newt's TBR video. This is a readathon created by G from Book Roast, and it's actually a sequel readathon. So the first readathon was in April, and that was called the Owls Readathon. And for the Owls, you basically had to read one book per prompt, which was a Hogwarts subject. And then for the Newts, we kind of build on that. So we read for the subjects that we passed in the first round. So I think I passed pretty much all of the subjects. I'll leave my vlogs linked down below if you want to check those out. So now that I've read a book per subject for the Owls Readathon, I get to choose which subjects I want to continue with in my Newts TBR. So there's acceptable, outstanding, and exceeds expectations, and I don't think I said those in order, but A, E, and O are the grading system for each subject in the Newt's Readathon. So I'm just going to jump into the TBR that I want to share with you because these are the books that I'm going to be reading throughout the month of August. So for the Owls Readathon, I actually kind of chose a career. So G from Book Roast has actually created an entire careers booklet. So you didn't have to really pick a career, but you could if you wanted to. And I chose writer slash journalist. And for that career, it was fairly easy. So I only had to read a couple of books and I kind of want to focus on those subjects to continue on into my newts. And that will get me my wizarding career of writer journalist. So to pass my newts and get writer journalist as my wizarding career, I actually need an E in history of magic and I need an A in muggle studies. And then I also need an A in another subject of my choosing. So the prompt for A is read a fantasy, which is super easy for me because a lot of my TBR is comprised of fantasy books because it's what I love reading. For this one, I've chosen Dark Blade, and this is actually an arc. It comes out in July, but I'm reading it a little bit late, and I don't know too much about it except that my favourite author, Sebastian de Castell, blurbed this on Goodreads and said that it was a really fun read. So that's why I've picked it up for my Newt's Readathon. I don't really know much about it. I don't have high expectations for it, so I'm hoping that it doesn't kind of put me into a slump and let me down for the readathon. So the next prompt for History of Magic, which I technically don't have to do, but I can if I want to. If I only read Dark Blade for History of Magic, then I've passed that subject. But to get an E in that subject, I have to read a book with a map in it. And I have a couple of those because mostly you get maps in fantasy books. I have Deviate by Jay Kristoff, and even though this is a young adult sci-fi book, it's the sequel to Lifelike, it does have a map in it, so I'm pretty lucky that I can shove that into this prompt because I've been wanting to read this for ages and I keep putting it off because I've just been so busy that I haven't been able to pick it up. So this is the map in Deviate, and this follows one of my favourite characters from Lifelike. Her name is Lemon Fresh, which is a pretty weird name, but I love her character and I'm really pumped to get into this. I can't tell you too much about what has happened because obviously this is the second book. It follows a side character from the first book and it kind of deals with lifelikes who are cyborgs that appear human. So for the next prompt, Muggle Studies, I only have to read one book for this prompt, whereas for History of Magic, I actually need to read two books. I initially got it wrong. I thought it was just one book, but it's actually two. So I need to read an A and an E for History of Magic. And then for Muggle Studies, I just need an A. So this readathon is fairly confusing, but I feel like if we talk about it a lot in the comments and on Twitter and everywhere, we'll be able to figure it out together. So the prompt for Muggle Studies under A for Acceptable is to read a book with a photographic element on the cover. That could just mean a person's face or an inanimate object, but I actually have Stone Girl by Eleni Hale, and this is an Australian young adult contemporary book. It's a fairly heavy and leans more towards the darker side of young adult contemporary, which is something that I'm more keen to read. I like something with a little bit of grit when I read, especially because I don't branch out into contemporary very much. So when I do, I like it to actually hit me pretty hard. All I know is this kind of deals with the foster care system in Australia and the girl in this gets kicked out of home and so she's at quite a young age and she has to learn to fend for herself and I feel like this has a lot of discussion about drugs and drug use so I feel like it's fairly heavy in terms of those kind of themes and I haven't really read anything like this so I'm keen to jump in and see how I feel about it. And then for the last subject, it was kind of a free for all. I could choose whatever I wanted because I just need to get an A in a subject of my choosing. So I have chosen Charms for this prompt. And Charms has read a book with a gorgeous cover and that is pretty easy for me. I'm going to be reading Dark Dawn by Jay Kristoff. I was going to put this in the maps prompt for History of Magic, but it fits this one as well. I really love the US and the UK covers of this book. So I can't wait to read this one. I'm very lucky to get an advanced reading copy of this. It is my most anticipated of this entire year. So I kind of have high expectations going into it and I know it's gonna be amazing. There is a second prompt for Charms, which is E and it's read a graphic novel. And I don't actually, have to do this one but I have a bit of a crossover of my TBR from my quarterly TBR so I have a bunch of graphic novels that I really want to read but one of them is The Wicked and the Divine and I got this in a book haul recently and I actually have read this but I read it a couple of years ago and I said in my vlog or in my book haul or whichever video I filmed this in or featured it in that I was going to read it really really soon and 
I often say that and then it just sits there on my shelf. So I need to actually put this into a readathon or get it back on my radar so that I remember to read it and talk about it in a video properly. So I want to read this one potentially for charms. I'll see how I go because I seem to not have that much on my TBR, but I don't want to overload myself and give myself a little bit of wiggle room in case I get a bit overwhelmed. So I'm putting The Wicked and the Divine tentatively on my list for charms, but I don't know if I'll get to this one. And that is it for my Newt's TBR. I keep going to say Owl's TBR, but it's definitely my Newt's. I'm so happy that I got on the bandwagon early this year and I managed to participate in Owl's so that I can leap into this readathon straight after. I can't wait to see everyone else's TBRs. This readathon just brings the book community together and I feel like we read a million pages or something for the Owls readathon, so I can't wait to see this grow even more with the Newts. This is what I'm aiming to read. Let me know definitely if any of these are on your anticipated list or if you are reading any of these as well. I'd love to chat to you in the comments about your TBRs, so thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.